Donald Trump and Marla Maples' relationship was full of unbelievable twists and turns. President Donald Trump has weathered three marriages, the third of which is with First Lady, Melania. At the tail end of his first marriage, which was probably before you were born, Trump and his to be second wife, Marla Maples, made headlines in the early 90s for a high profile affair. Nostalgia is in right now, so here are eight things you didn't know about Trump's relationship with Maples. But first, a brief timeline is necessary for context. Trump married his first wife, Ivana Zelnikova, a Czech model who had fled the communist country during the Cold War in 1977. Ivana later became vice president of interior design for the Trump Organization and was reportedly responsible for the design of Trump Tower. Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric are Trump's three children with Ivana. Then there's the wholesome 1989 affair President Trump had with actress Marla Maples, which became public after Trump attempted to bring Maples on a family vacation to Aspen, but unsuccessfully hid it from Ivana. Maples reportedly infamously approached Ivana during their family vacation and said, I love Donald. Do you? Ivana told Barbara Walters about this reported incident on a 1991 episode of 2020s. In October 1993, Maples gave birth to a daughter, Tiffany, and the couple wed two months later. The marriage lasted six years before ending in divorce, and Maples raised Tiffany on her own in California. For those keeping score, that's three marriages, two divorces, five children, one child out of wedlock, for the dude who won the evangelical vote. There are, however, several things you probably didn't know about the Trump-Maples saga, even with all its tabloid infamy. One the way they met was straight out of a ramcom. Vanity Fair described the way Trump and Maples met as a meet cute. On Madison Avenue one afternoon Trump reportedly bumped into Maples and the two got to talking in 1989. I had seen him at different places throughout the years, Maples told Vanity Fair, and just said hello, I was just somebody he shook hands with. Point two Maples famous best sex I've ever had quote is in dispute. In 1990. The New York Post printed a headline that suggested Maple said that being intimate with the future president was the best sex I've ever had. Dot that was meant to be private, she told Page Six in February of this year, referring to the Post's classic front page headline in 1990. I never said that, someone else said that. But is it true? I'm not going to talk about that. The truth will come out, just not here, Maple said, winking at a Post reporter on her way to jury duty in Manhattan. 3TRUMP reportedly said oh, great when he learned Maples was pregnant. Hours of Howard Stern audio that leaked in 2017 revealed that Trump was surprised to learn Maples was pregnant, according to Newsweek. I'm glad it happened. I have a great little daughter, Tiffany, Trump told Stern in a 2004 interview. But, you know, at the time it was like, excuse me, what happened? And then I said, well, what are we going to do about this? Marla said, are you serious? It's the most beautiful day of our lives. I said, oh, great. For Maples' father wrote a country song about the Donald Marla drama. In response to the extensive tabloid news coverage of Trump and Maples' affair, marriage, and then divorce, Maples' father reportedly wrote a country western song called Look at Us Now. It doesn't seem to have made its way onto the internet yet. Sadly, point five Maples was quoted as saying that they divorced because she couldn't change him. Dot Maple said she was happy to be away from Donald in 1999, per the New York Post, adding, I'm just trying to move as far away as I can. Dot I thought that I could change him. But he won't change. Dot, after I became a mother I was less willing to put up with his behavior, she was quoted by the Post as saying in an interview with the Daily Telegraph in London. The Post reported that a spokeswoman of Maple's said the Daily Telegraph took Maple's comments out of context. The spokeswoman did not offer a specific misquote, however, the Post said.6 Trump shared this ridiculous response in 1994 on the moment Maples met Ivana. In a 1994 ABC interview with journalist Nancy Collins, Trump noted that there was some friction between Ivana and Maples during that trip to Aspen, Colorado in 92. Then, he ridiculously fat shamed some dude from Colorado before making the point, well, these two women are arguing about me but at least I'm getting laid. Dot Trump said, Dot a man who was standing right next to me, who weighed about 350 pounds and wasn't a very attractive guy, said to me, it could be worse, Donald. I've been in Aspen for 20 years and I've never had a date. And I'll never forget the statement. And it sort of lightened it up for me a little bit. 
I'm saying, you know, I guess it could be worse. Point seven before Trump was elected president, Maples told The View that he was a good father to Tiffany. In one of her more recent media appearances, Maples told The View in March 2016 that Trump is still the father of my child and that he put her through a lot of great schools. So why did Trump and Marla Maples get divorced? She said he was never the man I wanted to marry. In the early 90s, it was difficult to find a tabloid that didn't have Donald Trump and his first wife, Ivana, on the cover. They too were embroiled in a messy divorce after Trump cheated on her with actress Marla Maples. And when Maples and Trump split just six years later, the reason as to why Trump and Maples got divorced became headline news yet again. Maples and Trump separated after four years of marriage, according to the New York Post. At the time, she called Trump ego-driven and obsessive to London's Daily Telegraph, as described in a piece by the Post in 1999. She said her marriage was built on an illusion and that she and Trump were never good together as a couple. Donald was never the man I wanted to marry, she told the Telegraph. He and his world were alien to me. I'm so happy to be away from Donald and I'm just trying to move as far away as I can. A spokeswoman for Maples at the time claimed the Telegraph took her comments out of context. As for Donald, when talking about the divorce, he said, let's say I'm very happy. Dot Maples raised their daughter, Tiffany, alone in Calabasas, California, following the divorce, according to People. That was my choice, raising her outside of the spotlight, Maples told the publication in 2016. Her daddy is a good provider with education and such, but as far as time, it was just me. Her father wasn't able to be there with day-to-day -day skills as a parent. He loves his kids. There's no doubt. But everything was a bit of a negotiation. At the time of the divorce, Maples told the Telegraph of Trump, Donald was obsessed with me and was always running after me. I couldn't get away. From the time I was 22, he pursued me and, foolishly, I listened to some of his promises. She credits becoming a mother as the reason she had the courage to leave. After I became a mother I was less willing to put up with his behavior, she said. In an interview with Oprah, when the two were still married, though, she said Trump was not controlling and that she hoped she brought him a sense of peace. More than a decade after the divorce, Maples reflected on the marriage a little bit differently, telling Access Hollywood that she and Trump were just so different from each other and that things could get combative between them. Maples said, We are so different. I came from Georgia in family values and a strong sense of spiritual growth, always wanting to be the best I can and he came with his positive ability to see the world and make money, get out there, and so I think in a marriage you always hope you'll bring out the best in each other, but after many years, we realized we weren't. At first, Trump's bravado was attractive to her, Maple said, but eventually she wanted to see more of a change in her husband, and it wasn't coming. You know, girls, when we're in our twenties, we want to change the men we're with, Maple said. We just think that that love is going to make them a little softer and you think, well I'll learn how to speak out stronger for what I believe in, because, you know, I'm a southern girl and I often just smile and keep going, but I have my own thoughts and my own views, and it's time now to express them. In an interview with Howard Stern in 1999, Trump said of his split from Maples, she was really a good, a good person. You know, with all fairness, we had a great time. The fairy tale way Donald Trump and Marla Maples fell in love and the scandalous affair that started it all. All the talk about Donald Trump's marriage to Melania Trump may have you wondering about his other wives. Who were they? How did they meet? What ended it? One marriage you might not know much about is his relationship with Marla Maples. Here's the fairy tale way Donald Trump and Marla Maples fell in love and the scandalous affair that started it all. A chance meeting. Marla Maples and Donald had crossed paths several times throughout the years. However, the pair formally met one day on New York City's Madison Avenue. Donald decided not to take his limo that day. When he spotted Marla, he stopped her and asked if he knew her, reported Vanity Fair. I had seen him at different places throughout the years and just said hello. I was just somebody he shook hands with, said Maples. Falling in love. Maples told New York Magazine she met Donald Trump in 1985. Marla said they were both aware they had a connection, but the timing wasn't right because he was married to Ivana Trump. We'd spend a lot of time on the telephone with each other without ever being out together in public. By 88, I knew I truly loved this guy, Maples said in the New York Magazine interview. 
Mr. Charm. Marla Maples found Donald Trump irresistible. It seems as if she was swept off her feet. Maple said that Donald was a charming man, and she had trouble saying no to him. I was romanced, I had Mr. Charm all over me, and it was very hard to say no. When that man wants something, he'll stop at nothing to get it. And I also believed in the good of him, Maples told New York Magazine. Keeping their love a secret. Donald and Marla tried to keep their romance of secret from everyone. They were trying to avoid the media storm that would surely come once it was made known Trump had moved on. However, as time went on, their romance became less of a secret. Vanity Fair reported that by the summer of 1989 Trump moved Marla into his yacht, the Trump Princess. Marla was forced into hiding. Once news broke of the alleged affair and Marla's identity was revealed, she had to run for cover. The media was thirsty for news, and everyone wanted to learn more about Donald's new love. Many were surprised Donald would risk his 12-year marriage to Ivana, especially after raising three children together. It was reported Marla hid for a week at her friend Larry Russo's Southampton Beach House right after the affair was made public. Marla told New York Magazine she even left the country for a month, fleeing to Guatemala. Marla became an instant celebrity. Life changed rapidly for Maples. She became a celebrity almost overnight once her relationship with Donald Trump was revealed. Paparazzi were now following her around, and people were coming up to her for autographs. The tabloid magazines and newspaper gossip columns couldn't get enough of Marla either. Each day, there was a new headline about their relationship as well as developments concerning his divorce from first wife, Ivana. The interview. About two months after the media frenzy, Marla decided to talk about a relationship with Donald Trump with host Diane Sawyer on ABC's Primetime Live. The former model told Sawyer she wasn't the reason Trump left Ivana. She also said she had no plans to try to profit from her whirlwind romance with the real estate tycoon. Love, marriage, and divorce. The couple tied the knot in 1993. Donald and Marla eventually divorced in 1999 after six years of marriage and raising one child together, Tiffany Trump. Maples told Access Hollywood the two were very different and often didn't see eye to eye. Well, he and I were so different, as you could probably imagine, I think you always hope in a marriage that you can bring the best out in each other. But after many years, we realized we weren't, said Maples.